Dear colleagues, last week we became the victim of a sophisticated cyber attack. Ikke skru på PC-er. Datanettet i industrigiganten med 35 000 ansatte er infisert på nedefortelling. Hvor langt tid vil det ta før dere er tilbake til normalen? Hvor langt tid vil det ta før dere er tilbake til normalen? Det vil jo helt avhenge av når man finner løsningen på å bli kvitt viruset. I think it's safe to say that the cyber attack on Hydro was the most challenging crisis that I've handled in my time and in my career. And probably the most challenging uh, situation for, for Hydro's communication department uh, ever. I received a message in the middle of the night from uh, my colleague who was press officer on call that night and the message said that we were hit by a massive cyber attack. And uh, immediately uh, what we needed to do was to alert 35,000 employees in 40 different countries uh, and warn them and tell them not to uh, log on to their computers or any network. And we had to do that without any digital means and any means of communicating with our employees because all networks were down. So that was a huge challenge. What we did uh, was that we um, uh, decided to use uh, Facebook, which was the only external uh, platform that we can communicate to, to the world and we decided to use uh, WhatsApp and our internal um, network uh, to communicate via the line uh, uh, to our employees to ensure that uh, everybody, uh, all our employees, adhered to the, 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 uh, the guidelines and not logged on to the network. So it was really uh, using the basic, basic tools. We could decide, you know, to say, you know, to shut down all communication and just deal with the problem internally. I mean, that would be one extreme way. And the other extreme way would be complete transparency and openness. And I guess we chose, you know, the extreme openness policy. So we decided very early that two principles would guide us through the, uh, the, this, uh, this task on the communication side. We said it would be transparency and frequency. It was an easy choice to go to choose the transparency line. It was not a difficult choice because we really saw very early that that was, uh, that was the best way to go. I mean, how do you enable your employees to act in a way that, that limits the financial and operational impact? That's by getting them on board and making sure that they know the risks. Uh, we saw that the external market, external stakeholders appreciated the transparency and the openness and we even saw that the share price went up those days rather than down that you could have expected. So we had daily uh, press conferences. Uh, we had uh, daily um, internal briefings that we managed to get out to all our employees, but we still didn't have an external website. And there was an extreme, unprecedented, I would say, demand from the world around us, from customers and media, you know, for information from Hydro. So then we decided to speed up the development of a new website. We were in the process of developing and launching a new website so that we actually managed to launch that website within the first week. And that gave us, of course, the platform to communicate properly, frequently, transparently to the world around us. What what was also very much appreciated was how we chose uh, 
uh, a strategy of focusing on our people internally and how we dealt with it. it. We called it the, the cyber hero. So we uh, opened the doors uh, to make sure that uh, journalists and others actually got into Hydro to meet the, the real people behind the issues. And we even let people, journalists, into the control rooms to see how we dealt with the, the issues. And that was very much uh, appreciated. We have gotten a lot of positive feedback and I would say praise for our openness and transparency in such a, a challenging situation. So, and even the head of uh, cyber at the United Nations, uh, he tweeted and said that it was amazing to have such a transparent uh, policy. And the learning, I guess, is that uh, no matter how much you plan, no matter how much you train, uh, no matter how many contingency plans you have, you know, you will be surprised. You will. And we were.